So along with sharing all the good things that can happen on the road and on a trip like this, we promise to share the bad things. Pretty much my nightmare just played out on the beach. I was surfing, Oki was on the beach as usual, and he was playing with one dog, they were getting along fine, and then another dog came up that actually turned out to be this other dog's sister, and the other dog didn't like Oki, and once one of them started attacking him, the other one started attacking him. And I could see it all playing out from the out the back in the surf. So I paddled in as quick as I could and the owners actually had to punch the other dogs repetitively to get them off him. And I'm just waiting for one of them now because they're going to come with me to the vet and show me where the vet is. But Oki, it looks like he's been really lucky. He may need a couple of stitches, but considering how clung on the dogs were, I think he might escape with, you know, fingers crossed, nothing sort of serious. Hopefully this person gets here soon so we can roll out straight away. We've already called the vet and they're there, so I'll give you guys an update. Such a brave patient. Yeah, he is like, he just let everything happen. It's unbelievable. Yeah. It's okay, buddy. I'm gonna get you a big bow. Oh. So he's been so lucky with his eye. Because there's one there and one there. Todas las mordidas son pequeñas, no necesito punto. Uh -huh. Solamente es desinfectar y darle antibiótico, porque okay. siempre los dientes tienen bastante bacterias. Bueno. And so the vet was saying that all the cuts are just superficial or not deep enough to require sutures, which is good. All he needs is a wash um, and some disinfectant and then antibiotics. He's going to get a little haircut around the uh, around the wound sites, and hopefully that's that's all. We'll just keep the wound clean. And I don't know how much you'll be able to swim in the ocean for the next few days. Oh. Hello. Hello. He wants to play. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think he's going to sleep pretty well tonight. <sighs> So we are back from the vet, obviously. I think Oki's, Oki's come out of it all extremely lucky, to be honest. He's got seven cuts, seven different lacerations. He's got one above and below his left eye. He's got two in his ear. He's got one down on his chest and another on his shoulder and then another one behind his neck. And... Thank God, not, not one of them even needs a suture. He's been told to stay out of the water, out of the surf for a week, so he's not gonna be happy about that for sure. But it's mainly, it's not the salt water that's the issue, it's all the sand getting in the cuts. So it's all about avoiding infection. So yeah, that was one of the most gut-wrenching moments of the trip, really, for me. And I just had this image that, because every time a wave went past, I couldn't see what was going on the beach as I was paddling in, and I just kept thinking the dogs were going to let go and Oki wasn't going to get up. And luckily, when they got the dogs off, I saw Oki run away, so I knew at least it wasn't too bad in that respect. But I'm just so happy that it wasn't too serious, and you know. The fact that we're in Nicaragua, the vet was really good and it was 20 bucks. Not that it, price matters um, and the uh, the owner actually paid for it. And I'm, I'm not going to talk about what breed of dogs they were because I feel like this breed cops enough flack as it is. But, you know, it could have been any dog and I'm just really, really happy he's okay. And I thought you guys would want to know he's okay too. So feel free to send him your love and wish him a speedy recovery but he'll be all good and he will be ready for to see lee next week all right see you guys